I'm starting a new short little series uh, on I, I did a bunch of gel tests where I test all the most powerful rounds you can get in 380 which this is uh, 9 millimeter and 45 ACP I skipped 40 because I didn't have it in 40 uh, but anyways I received a comment in uh, the 9 millimeter video because uh, one of the 9 millimeter uh, if not more than one was advertised at 500 foot-pounds of energy and Somebody called BS on that, said, no way, you're getting 500 foot-pounds of energy from a 9mm. Uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and test all these over my chrono here. And we'll just see how much uh, energy they actually have. Because you can calculate uh, based off of the, the weight of the bullet and the actual velocity that you get, uh, what your energy is. Uh, so here are some of those rounds, well most, if not all, of those rounds from that test. Uh, I've never seen a 380, for example, prior that 300 some foot pounds of energy. Uh, I believe this is 288. This one comes out to roughly the same. Uh, we'll, we'll get all this up here on screen. But, anyways, uh, so I'm going to fire some uh, over the chrono. I'll probably just do three a piece because uh, I don't have much of this stuff. What you're looking at is all I got. So uh, we'll do a three shot group and average it up and all that and see what uh, energy we're actually getting. So today is a 380. I'm also going to do 9mm coming up and 45 as well. So let's see if we can actually achieve 280, maybe 300 foot pounds of energy out of 380. Uh, this is my SIG P238. Um, so, you know, it's it's not a long barrel or anything like that. It's definitely a uh, micro compact pocket pistol carry type thing. So um, we're that's what we're testing out of. Obviously, out of the longer barrel 380. Uh, I can get higher velocity, um, but I'm going to use this because this is what I have, and it's also, a, you know, something that's carry size. So, uh, but definitely check out the gel video. I'll put a link to the 381 in this video, or just scroll through my channel, find the other calibers if you want. Um, but yeah, let's send some of these over the chrono and see what kind of energy we're getting out of this 380 here. Uh, like I said, gold would be 308, which I don't know if we're going to get that out of this short barrel, but we'll see. I'll start out with a baseline of this. Hornady Critical Defense is just, you know, standard stuff you guys are used to seeing as a baseline. And then we'll move up. So I guess these are only 250 foot-pounds of energy. And 9mm, I believe it, this was one of the ones that was 500. Uh, but for those of you that might be using this or want to use it or whatever, we'll go ahead and run them anyways and see. Uh, so we'll start out here with the Critical Defense. Uh, 90 grain bullet, advertised 1,000 foot per second velocity. I'll get a calculation up on the energy on that, but that's a pretty typical self-defense load right there. Like I said, we'll run these anyways, even though they're not that high, although 250 is pretty freaking high for a 380, because usually a 380 is right around 200 foot-pounds of energy. Um, these are 90 grain at 1,200 feet per second, which is 288 foot-pounds of energy. And since these are also 1,200 feet per second with a 90 grain that would equal the same 288 and then of course these are advertising right here 308 if you get 1280 out of velocity all right so first step the critical defense you see a little rubber tip in there run three of these Okay, uh, three of the Liberty Civil Defense. So this is, uh, it was advertised 1,000, so we're coming a little under there. These are advertised 1,500 because it's a super light 50 grain bullet. So let's come a little in under by that short barrel. So now we got, uh, these are the Buffalo Boar, 
1200 advertised 288 energy if you get 1200 this 90 grain bullet and it seems the trend is that we're coming in slightly under with this little barrel which is to be expected Got some pop, man. All right, the underwood are right here. They're out loose because that's what I had, uh, that's what I was carrying. So these are also advertised 1200 feet per second. And now these MHPs, 1280-308. That explains a lot. So these things I absolutely hated in the gel test because they did nothing and that includes 9 millimeter as well did not expand or nothing and uh, those had the lowest velocity of anything we shot here today so that explains why they don't expand very well because they're they're coming in way way under advertised velocity so these things are junk so I uh, should have the Achieved energy up on the screen. So obviously we did not achieve uh, 300 foot-pounds of energy um, But like I said This thing having a little short barrel. I forget what it is like All right around three inches or so I'll throw the specs up, but Obviously a longer barrel you get higher velocity. So with a micro compact like this We're definitely not getting 300 or the 288. I Don't know the numbers yet. I got to run them. They'll be up on the screen by now, but um probably 250 ish something like that so uh, that's still really good for 380 because like i said uh, most carry loads for 380 are advertised at 200 foot pounds of energy and we definitely exceeded that here today so no 300 foot pounds of energy but 250 is still pretty good so um, i'm really excited to do nine millimeter because i know now my my nine millimeter is a fairly small gun that we used in the video, which I'm going to use the same guns that we used in the gel test video. Uh, but I know from watching other videos that typically these not only meet but exceed uh, their advertised velocity in 9mm. So if we achieve the advertised velocity in 9mm, then we should achieve the advertised uh, energy. So I think we'll have better results with the 9mm. So I'll have 9mm coming up next, and we'll see what happens then, and then I'll do 45, and then I'll be it. Uh, like I said, make sure you check out the ballistic uh, gel videos I did with all these rounds. Uh, the 380 link will be in this one. I'll link to the 9mm and the 9mm energy check test video, and then the same with 45. Appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you want to be notified when I post, and don't miss any upcoming videos. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.